I'm from CTTN. Yes, yes, my, yes. My name is Lucien. It's a great pleasure to be able to talk to you, even via Zoom, on this very prosperous occasion when China is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the founding of the CPC. But this year is also a very special year for China and Pakistan, as both countries are celebrating 70 years of diplomatic relations, 70 years of friendship. So I'd like to ask you, uh, based on what you just talked about, about the uniqueness of the Chinese system and uh, the kind of uh, strong relationship that Pakistan has fostered with China, what do you think the 70 years of friendship uh, between China and Pakistan means for the region and for the world? And where do you see relations going further? How to deepen these already very strong ties? Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> well, firstly, first, let me just talk about Pakistan and China first, and then the region. For Pakistan, uh, uh, there was always a very special relationship with China, although our relationship started 70 years ago. But, you know, China, whenever Pakistan was in trouble, whenever I'm, I'm in trouble politically, internationally, when we had conflicts with our neighbor, China always stood with us. So the people of China have a special place in the hearts of people of Pakistan. Because the, everyone here remembers, you know, you only, you only remember a friend who stands with you in your difficult times. In good times, everyone stands with you. But in, in your difficult, tough times, bad times, you remember those people who stood by you. That's why you will find that in, in Pakistan, they, people always have a special fondness for people of China. So this relationship has only got stronger. Even now, politically, uh, you know, on, on the uh, international forums, Pakistan and China always stand together. And now, when you talk about the region, there's this strange uh, uh, great power rivalry taking place. You know, you see the United States and the United States being uh, wary of China. And, you know, you, you know, I don't need to say all this is now public knowledge, you know, the, the way uh, China and the United States are sort of looking at each other. Uh, it, so it creates problem because what United States is doing is it's, for, it's formed this uh, re regional uh, alliance called the Quad, which is U.S., uh, uh, India, and then, you know, a couple of other countries. So from that point of view, Pakistan thinks that it is very unfair for the U.S. or other powers, Western powers, for, for countries like us to take sides. Why do we have to take sides? We should, be, we should have good relationship with everyone. And, you know, it's not going to happen that if Pakistan is, if uh, there's pressure put on Pakistan to change its relationship or, 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 or uh, downgrade its relationship with China, it won't happen. Yeah because the relationship between Pakistan and China is very deep. And it's, it's not just the governments, it's a people-to-people -people relationship. So um, uh, to, uh, to sum up, whatever will happen, our relationship between the two countries, no matter what pressure is put on us, is not going to change. Well, how do you deepen these already very strong ties, Your Excellency? Number one is trade. You know, the CPAC is, is a really, it's right in front of you, it's something. It's the biggest thing happening in Pakistan. For us, this is, this is where we think um, our, our economic future is moving towards. So this is a big uh, uh, economic um, uh, feature in, in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's the political relationship. And political rela relationship has got stronger. And it's got stronger because uh, uh, whatever happens in every international forum, Pakistan and China stand together. Thank you.